Hello guys and girls, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. How are you doing today? This is episode number 32 of my KMA's Jam series. We got some stuff done over the weekend and I would like to show you some of that stuff. But behind me, oops, I keep getting stuck in this fence. Ah, I'm caged. No, I'm not. But behind me, there is a new thing. You can't even see it. Hmm. Um, you might be thinking the stairs, but they were there. The, the, the packed ice, that was there. That building was there, too. This wall was there. But let me show you what I'm talking about. There is a thing. Hmm. A thing right there. Let's hit it. 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 Hmm. I guess I should right-click it. Oh, that's right. There is this path that went to my base over there. And for the longest time, I'm like, oh, I gotta hide that. Um, effectively hidden. So let me show you the other side. Oh, <laughs> let me show you how I run into walls. Oh, I did it again. I have this set on a very strict timer, so I can only barely get through it in time. It's even set over here as that goes open and closes right behind me. Yeah. So that's why I had to make sure I didn't hit the wall, because I wasn't going to make it if I did hit the wall. So let me um, show you this again. Um, the button's hidden very awesomely. And I go in here, and there's basically a two-piston setup over here, pushing these two pistons out and then pushing out some blocks there. It's a little complicated, but not really. Um, actually, it, it's really not that complicated. Um, this is where the button comes in. It goes in, let's follow it. Aha! <laughs> Aha, everything's covered, that's right. In order for me to show this, I really can't show this. Hmm, how can I explain this? There's like two pistons in the wall, right here, facing towards me. So there's actually four pistons set up like this. And then on the backside pistons, there's two facing towards me now, facing towards this uh, light. And where the light is, you put two blocks in, and you set it up in a certain way, so these four pistons push out, then the two pistons push out, and then you got your way. Um, and what I had done is I added... <laughs> I wish I could show you that, but that would destroy the whole door, and I'd have to rebuild the whole thing, so screw you guys. I added this little delay function so I could uh, come over here and do this side. And this side is only a two-piston door that pulls... It is actually inverted, um, let's see, is there any way of seeing it back here? Kinda. Um. Well, I kinda have it coming up there. Now, well, not enough to... <laughs> not enough to really show you exactly what the, uh, the hell I'm doing here. But enough to give you an idea that something's going on here, it works. Um, it works pretty well. Um. And it was something that I had the second time I have ever started a redstone project and said, well, the redstone is not right for me. I'm going to have to revise it and redo it. And I did it right. It takes longer, obviously, than following a tutorial. But um, it's nice being able to run through this door and kind of come around this corner, watch this door open up. And as soon as I turn around, it closes behind me. So here we go. Opens up. But it takes longer from the outside. So the timing was a little weird, but unfortunately, well, I shouldn't say unfortunately. Fortunately, I was able to get the timing down really quickly. I just kind of fell into the proper timing, and it's pretty awesome. So I do have my hidden entry way now. And this is packed ice, so if, even if I do get crushed a little bit, it's packed ice. I'll just keep on walking. It'll take a half a heart of damage. I also made one more thing. We have this. I used to have an array of 12 um, furnaces here, and I got rid of the furnaces and put up three sets of chests. Actually, if you look back there, four sets of chests. Um, what I want smelted, I put in here. And the fuel I put in there. And what has come out, comes out over there. Pretty simple. That's just magic. You just put the stuff that you want smelted in there, and you have smelted stuff. So, <laughs> another one of those redstone things where I actually deviated from the 
tutorial so I could get this right, but this is the system behind it. It is a system. So, uh, all the chests, or all the furnaces that cook the stuff are down here. And they're all filled up with fuel. And as you see, I've been using um, charcoal because this system uses so much coal. I actually want to start saving my coal so I can build with coal in the future. So I'm going to, when I use this super smelter, um, it's going to be basically charcoal because um, with all the stuff I've been doing the last couple of weeks, it's like I've had these 12 uh, furnaces constantly going. And all the furnaces I have at my guardian farm constantly going, and it's just, I needed an auto smeltery, and this one is really fast, it is really good, and um, so basically, the output chest is above this line right here, um, as you see, well, we'll do this backwards, as you see, this is a dropper, um, thing here and it's all it's a quiet one because droppers they make those ticking noises tick 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 which gets annoying but there's a way of doing a dropper rise like this without making the ticks so I did that and so when the stuff is done it comes into these droppers and rises up and goes into this chest and eventually goes into the chest that you can see from the front um, and the center which is the stuff to be smelted it goes along top here into these um, hoppers and into the top of because right underneath that hopper right there are all the furnaces so it goes right into the top of the furnaces and the other chest goes down here and it adds the coal or the charcoal in this case to the end then we got a couple of comparators to recognize that there's something in there to be cooked and sets the system basically turns it on so when things are cooked they fall out here into the bottom and they go along this hopper chain and into this dropper elevator so let's um, show how it works. Um, I had to refine the redstone because the way this was set up uh, had a totally different front space. Um, and I couldn't handle that. The front space of the initial tutorial had uh, two chests in the space and one chest where that thing was. And I'm like, no, no, I need the, the chests all right next to each other. So I had to do a little moving of the dropper elevator and stuff like that. But... Uh, let's see, what do I want to cook? We, we've we been cooking up some... I don't really need any more of this um, right now, but this is what we've been cooking up. We'll just take a couple of stacks and throw it in the to-be-smelted part. And it's slowly starting to take things away. Um, when they first throw the things in, it has to set up the signal, and it sets off the comparator at the end. Um... And also, another thing that's kind of interesting, so the reason why you're not going to see this go down is that this is a trap chest, and it's on top of a hopper, so once I open it, it stops the things from going out. So you're not going to see the stuff actually leave this chest. Oops. Big deal. So, you see, it's at 50. I close it for a second. It's at 47. So, <laughs> things are going in. Charcoal has been gotten. Hey, Mr. Spider, how are you doing, sir? And now I can use my little... Where is my button? My little secret entrance of awesomeness. Yeah. And um, then we can just jump down here, get to my furnaces, and I actually have to make charcoal. So I'm going to just throw some wood in there, and eventually the wood will cook. So let's go take a look. Um, I've been cutting down spruce trees like a maniac. Oh, I'm still cooking purper. For some reason, some, somewhere along the lines, something gets stuck, and I gotta find out where it's getting stuck, because that's kind of annoying. But as you see, um, all the torches are moving all the items up, and it's quiet, and that's the best thing about this. When I first saw the tutorial, I'm like, I'm gonna have to listen to that, and I'm like, wait a second, there's a quiet way of doing it, so I had to look up... Um, hopper elevators or yeah hopper elevators and looked up the quiet one and I the only thing I can think of but uh, I think the only thing that makes it quiet is sticking these torches in the front here those three extra torches so I could be completely wrong but you, I don't know you guys can tell me because most people know redstone better than I do so to be smelted and you see how quickly this stuff is coming out 
It's not extremely fast, but you know, it's a hell of a lot better than one furnace. So that's why we have made this situation. And also, oh God, this is one hell of a talky episode. When I come over here to get to my gold farm, I can't even get up there. Come on. Look at that. <laughs> Half of you are, going, are missing the point right now. But look at that. This is 1.9. I can see. I can see clearly now. I can see this, the nether. I have a hole. I have a hole in the nether ceiling. Look at that. Hole. I used to do have to do this minecart thing, which is, which I sh kind of showed you how to do. Jeez, I didn't clean up my mess down here from last time. Um, <laughs> and for some reason, with the new up snapshot, not snapshot, with the new updates of 1.9, it's been really hard to get up to the Nether, even through the minecarts. Been getting stuck and stuff, and um, it's been really annoying. And it's been taking me like 10, 15 tries just to get to the top of the Nether. And, um, it has really kind of sucked, so there's this way, and I forget who had it. Well, Hermitcraft's been doing this certain ways of breaking bedrock and stuff. Um, so I, I was thinking of using the dragon egg to do it, kind of like Exuma. But there's this other way that, um, Sliced Lime, if you don't subscribe to him, subscribe to him. Sliced Lime, he's pretty awesome. Uh, you stick, you find out which block you want to break. You stick a sticky twist in here and here. Um, and stick a obsidian border around here. Then stick 10 hop, uh, repeaters set to four ticks. And you put a TNT stack inside a iron, uh, minecart. A minecart, iron, what is it? TNT minecart. We'll call it that. On top of an activator rail. You set it off and the... The redstone signal goes down the repeaters and it opens the piston as soon as the TNT blows off, which blows off the front of the piston head. And then you uh, do do that one more time, blow off the head of the other piston. Then you add a piston facing straight down, and um, you set off another timer, and it pulls the piston towards you, and for some reason combines the two and gets rid of a block. I don't know. Look up sliced lime and bedrock, and you'll get it. So. Let me just show you what's going on up t top here. Alright guys, so, um, I wanted to make this an AFK farm, and to do that I was afraid of gas. Somehow gas have sp formed out here. No reason why. I've had glass covering this, so there's no reason for it to form on top of this. Somewhere they've been forming. Um, not often, maybe once every 10 hours or so down here, but it's enough that if I'm AFKing, I'm afraid so what I had done is I filled in the rest of the roof with glass so even if a gas forms the only way you can really get me is is come up through these little creases here or shoot me through there and that's kind of highly unlikely so I did do an AFK thing here for a very long time that's how I got 185 levels but if you have this farm you understand that 185 levels is maybe 20 minutes 30 minutes at this farm and eventually what had ha what happens in this forum when you're AFKing is you piss off the pigmen, eventually they become unpissed at you. So this isn't a great AFK in farm if you're going to AFK overnight, but to AFK for half hour to an hour, it's great. So I set this farm up so I could AFK before I'd come down here and I just had those initial chests. Um, right there and I would have to grab the stuff from the top and get my bounty this way yes the bounty but now I have moved it down here and got the you know the chest stack here and I'm getting my bounty this way yes and I've been slowly converting some of the gold into this because I had to fill up my pot of gold at my rainbow again and so I'm getting you know more than um my fair share of rotten flesh and gold and stuff, so gold is now not an issue. And um, to leave here, I had to move over here. And the reason why it's way over here is that I wanted to hook up with my uh, spawn um, spawn portal. So I had to actually move it all the way out here, which is kind of sad, but you know, 
I, I have to walk 30 blocks now to go home. All right, guys, I've done a little bit more work off camera, like usual. <laughs> and I would like to show you what that work would entail. It's not a lot of work. It's just uh, stuff I've been need meaning to finish for a while, and I just haven't finished. So we go down this tunnel, and we go through a portal. That will bring me to the Sky Factory. This is the Sky Factory, and uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, it's not too much different than what Mumbo had made on his Hermitcraft 4 and 3 and 2 <laughs> server. Basically, it's just a mob trap and things fall. And uh, what I had done, oh, is missed the cart. Um, initially, I had the floor and hair, and all I had was these six chests here, but I was never able to AFK, so I put the floor down here, extended the chest behind here, and added the hoppers, so I can now get things down here, and as you can see, since I've done this, I haven't AFK'd here, because most of my products are still up here, so, um, one of these days, maybe today, I will AFK here. So I added the carts all the way down and, you know, just use the normal cart collector thing that I normally do. So this thing is now AFKable, and I think I have chosen this as the AFK spot. Because this is basically the only place where mobs can spawn now, because they won't spawn on tracks at all. Um, and I think this is a good place to do it. It's not the exact perfect place for this type of mob system. I should actually really go up above it. But it's only me and it's not a server, so I definitely have enough of the mob drops that I need to um, make it worthy. So let's go back. Hey, where are you going to, horsey? I have yet to make the stables on this side of the... Um, the nether tunnels um, because this is the original nether tunnel that I had made for finding my sand pit so I can get sand and stuff for the glass for my initial buildings. So I'm going to um, show you one more thing um, before I go for the video and let's just... What is that? What the hell is that? Um, guys, you, you remember Hermitcraft 3? One of the guys made this, like, green ball that had moss on it. For some reason, this just showed up. I, I have nothing to do with this. I'm kind of confused. I think Tinfoil Chef made it on Hermitcraft 3. And it was in Hermit Hills. And it was suspended in the air. And, um, it was his base, and he had moss coming off of it, and it looked like a giant eyeball. But this one is, like, in the ground. It's not up in the... Uh, is there any entrances to it? This is just weird. I mean, I'm the only one who has access here. It's not like my daughter can build a sphere, and... I don't know. That, that, I was going to be building something here. Well, there must be a reason for it. I don't know. I... Well, there's no entrance. Well, I'll just keep it there for a little bit. Um... Just see something here, real quick. Maybe there's an entrance on top. I can probably get on top if I go like this. To my any excuse to use my elytra launcher, right? No. Doesn't look like there's any entrances. Hmm. That is very weird. 
I really have no clue what this is about. Um, this is kind of freaking me out because I'm the I'm the only one who can get on this world. It's like, uh, and we got. This is weird. Um, okay, uh, I'm just trying to think what I should do. Uh, I'm going to leave it be, and uh, next episode I will uh, figure out what the hell and why this thing is here. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm just going to move on. Pretend I didn't see this. Guys, you didn't see this. I'll figure out what's going on with that. Um, <laughs> and what I was going to show you is something that I do plan on doing in the near future. Um, is I started working on this tower a little bit. Going around. I'm still. That's kind of freaked me out a little bit. I'm still a little out of it. Uh, so I'm building this tower around my... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. So there it is. I, I will probably make an episode of making this tower or a couple episodes because it is going to world height. And obviously I got a... This is the tower ground. I leveled out the ground in here. And if you're wondering, this is my golem spawner. Um, it's not really cranking it out right now because I keep stealing all the iron. Um, but this will be the entrance. And uh, I've obviously got to get rid of some floating trees and stuff. But uh, yeah, so this tower will go around this whole thing and go up to world height. And nothing's going to be in here other than the golem farms themselves. So, yeah, um, I am really confused about this thing over here. I mean, it's colorful, it kind of matches my rainbow, but it's like right there, and it's like a remake of, I'm confused. If this is R2-D2, <laughs> R2-D2. This must be a drone bot of some sort. I don't understand the purpose of it. I mean, if I were to want to recreate this build, and I'm not even sure whose it is. I think it's tinfoil chefs. I would have it up in the sky. I'm confused. I, I'm gonna... I'll let you know next episode what's going on with that. That's just wrong. Somebody's came on here and pranked me somehow. In this world, so you can only do it on my computer. But I finally did this. Things to do lists. So these are things on my agenda. Create main storage system. Finish nether tunnels. Finish super secret project, which is part of my main storage system. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that main storage system and the super secret project, same thing. Finish tree farm part two. Oh, my big tree farm that I have outside. The area where I do the two by two trees is all done, but I have an area for one by, you know, normal oaks and acacia that I haven't finished yet. And I got to finish that. That was like... The tree farm was the first one of the first main projects I did on this world, and I still haven't finished it. it would be nice to finish it um, because I do use the tree farm a lot. Make floating island around Sky Spawner. That place where I just showed you with the extra chests and stuff that's floating in the sky. Um, I'm gonna make it into a floaty island, kind of like a Roger Dean Yes album cover. Think of old Yes album covers, and there's floating islands all over the places. And I'm going to recreate one of those um, using the floaty spawn thing. Make a squid farm in the desert, mm -hmm. so I can get the dark prismarine blocks easily. Make golem farm tower, that's the tower I just uh, showed you. Search for all elytra, um, there should be a couple more elytra in this world, and I will go get those at some point. Um, 
mine I, I have mending on them but you know eventually I will die in lava and lose them and that's gonna be a bad day especially if I don't have any backup elytras so I want to get as many elytras as possible so that means I'm gonna be killing some more dragons and stuff and you know you can be able to see that in one of the episodes make mine look better uh, basically this is the mine and I just want to make these tunnels look more instead of just a hole in the wall I want them to look kind of like a mine so I plan on making the aesthetics of this look a lot better um, let's see make farmhouse near farm oh I have the farm over where I moved the farm to where my AFK fishing farm is and I got the mushrooms and all the other farms I'm gonna make a farmhouse over there and the storage is get for the farms are going to go into that farmhouse I have an evil building design that I have um, chosen that I'm gonna build and um, there's a reddit called evil buildings and sometimes I get my thoughts for builds in Minecraft and the evil building reddit so that's what we're gonna do of course fruit farm it's gonna go over there somewhere near the farm it's not where it is now because it looks ugly there enderman farm seeing I've hit the end I've got to make an enderman farm even though I really don't need it need to but you know it's kind of like in a Minecraft world you kind of have to make an enderman farm Cre create villager supermarket um, that's where what I was gonna create where that green thing is um, uh, place move my villagers that I have upstairs uh, and move them to where the green thing is into a supermarket and protect them from mobs and stuff better and have them all in one place there make tunnel to mega taiga for podzol I have to find a mega tiger and um, make a nether tunnel to it and make that look good with the stables at the end and all that good stuff like I've done with most of the other tunnels make chicken cooker I don't have a chicken cooker one of the first things I always do in the world especially in spawn chunks is make a chicken cooker because I'll have unlimited chicken but I'm already eating golden carrots so I don't really need chicken but uh, just to have the double chest of chicken uh, raw chicken and eggs and all that stuff I do want to make a chicken kill, uh, cooker um, and the last one is have a shit ton of fun <laughs> I always forget to have fun sometimes um, so that's so that's the things that I'm gonna be doing in the future um, so I really do hope that um, ah, you like what you're seeing um, I will get down to the business to find out what that lime green wool circle is doing and why it's a hermit craft three build on my world I'll get down to the bottom of that and uh, let you know next episode what's going on but until next week thank you for watching the K Maze Jams just another Minecraft series episode number 32 uh, 32 um, kind of a weird episode haven't been feeling that great this week uh, still dealing with stuff from the surgery so my stomach's acting ugh. it's not right side up let's just say it's upside down so debating whether or not I should be going to work later on today because it is 5 30 in the morning I gotta leave to work by 6 30 so have a great day it's Keith from Game Ace Corner enjoy